Okay, today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. There's a 77-year-old um, a man that's been missing up here on Coleman River in Rayburn County for over a month now. And um, we've come up here and uh, we're gonna kind of look around for him. Uh, I know there's been a lot of people up here looking for him, but uh, it's kind of rainy today. So, uh, with too much else we can get done. The rain's supposed to move out here in a little bit, but uh, we're gonna just um, walk around. I'd hate to know that I might be uh, in the woods or something and uh, needing, you know, found or something. Uh, pretty much, if this guy's up here, he's probably um, no longer with us, but uh, we'll just go walk around, see what we can see. Uh, They found this guy's truck off a little embankment at the uh, bridge that we're going to go to. Um, as we get over in here, it's been years since I've been over here. It's just, it's, it's not far from my house. Um, probably about 15 miles from my house. Uh, but it's, still, it's been years since I've been over here. There's more private land over in here than I thought there was. But, uh, we're gonna get on down here to the bridge and, uh, kind of come up with a game plan of what we're gonna do. I know they've had professional search teams in here, uh, groups that's come in and searched for him and didn't find him. I was looking on my way in, there's some, uh, old logging roads. I just wonder if the guy tried to walk out and uh, took one of those logging roads or something. This, I believe this is the um, bridge. It's pretty rough on up in here. I don't think he would have went that way. And I'm pretty sure this is the bridge. It's still raining a little bit. That's rain supposed to have done got out of here, but it ain't yet. This is supposed to be the bridge. And they found this truck off one of these sides, which I think that's probably right in there. You can tell there's been a vehicle right in, in there. Yeah, you can tell there's been a vehicle off right here. There's been a vehicle right here. So if he walked out, he'd went that way back up there. I think what we're going to do since people search this I think what we're going to do is go back up yonder and walk on those logging roads and uh, see what we can see. Uh, I did bring my rain gear so it doesn't look like it, the rain's going to let up here anytime soon. Okay, we're going to walk down this Old logging road here. See if we see anything. Uh, you might say, uh, well, you know, why didn't you call somebody or something like that? Well, one, you don't get cell service over here. And two, um, he didn't have a cell phone. He uh, never had a cell phone, so. We'll just uh, ease down through here. Now this kind of goes back. I did find out that he lived over on 76. So this might have been a cut through, uh, a shortcut for him rather than walking the main road. 
So what we're gonna do is kind of ease down through here. I started putting my full rain suit on. I don't know. We might end up getting wet. I just got a rain jacket on. See what we can see. Now this is uh when you start in on the on this road, you come off Persimmon um onto uh Coleman River Road and then that turns into Old Coleman River Road, which is just the forestry road. I think the forestry road number was fifty three. So uh let's go down through here and see what we can see. Okay, I was walked all the way to the top and walked out the top both ways. And uh, I hadn't seen no no sign. A lot of bear sign in here. But uh, we're gonna head back to the truck. It's come a couple pretty good showers on me. But uh, You know, I I don't know about this location. It's uh it's real close to where he ran off the road. I thought he might have took one of these logging roads as a shortcut back towards uh towards his house. But you get in here that's something big. You get in here, and uh, there's logging roads that goes goes up, and then they'll hit another ridge. There'll be another logging road. Hold on, I smell something. Let me check to see what this is. A lot of times in the woods you might think you smell something dead, but it's just uh, like rotten wood, wood that's rotten. And, uh, that's steep off down in there. I don't know if y'all can tell that, but, you know, maybe he fell off in there. I smell it real good out here. I mean, real good. I really don't want to get off in there. Looks like I'm gonna to have to. I don't think you've been in this upper side. I mean, maybe if he fell and rolled off into that, down in this green stuff, you wouldn't ever see him if you walked by here. You know, it, it may be deer season two before he's located when you get a lot of people, or you know, more people in the woods walking around looking for deer sign and stuff. We're gonna have to go off in here. I'm smelling something right here. And uh, check this, uh, this greenery right here and see if there's anything laying in that. We just don't have to go down here and see what this is. Didn't want to go off this bank, but we're gonna these down here. I've got binoculars, but I can't exactly tell what it is. And the smell is getting stronger. Real strong.
Y'all probably can't tell how steep this is. But she's steep. Of course, I don't see nothing now. Keep getting a whiff. Something. Big old trail right here. Big old trail. Okay. Let's see if we can make it back up. I don't see nothing here. I had to come, I was looking through my binoculars and I seen something. But it looked like when I got down here, it was just like a, a tree branch that broke off. Still had the leaves on it, so it was making a dense uh like that right there making the making something look dense but actually the one i was looking at was right over in there uh, one thing with the that's broke right there yeah that's broke Let's give her another look. I don't see nothing. I do not see nothing. But I do get a little whiff of something every now and again. Something dead, but like I say in the woods, that's not uncommon. One thing you do need to do is when you're going out somewhere like this, you need to tell somebody where you're going. I did tell my wife I was up here. So she knows where to send the search party if I do not return. But she probably won't know that I haven't returned until she gets home from work. There's something in the tree down there. I thought mountain laurels have bloomed. Mountain laurels should have done bloomed a long time ago. Okay. I searched this pretty good. I don't see nothing. <clears throat> I don't know if I missed it or not. One good thing about rain is most snakes, especially like our copperheads and rattlesnakes that we have here, do not like water. So they will crawl up under something in a hole because the uh, water will make their body temperature drop and they will uh, they don't like that so as you can see there's been people in here there's uh, twigs broke and stuff Rough. That is like straight off. Y'all probably looking at it on camera going, that ain't nothing. Boy, look at these trails right here. 
deer trails. I mean, he's probably a hunter. He may have seen one of these trails and said, oh, that's what that did. And one good thing about when it's raining, it's kind of like with smoke. You know, the, the humidity keeps the smoke down toward the, uh, the ground. You ever, you ever burn outside and notice that the, uh, the smoke doesn't just like go straight up like it normally does when you're burning on a pretty day? Uh, the humidity will keep the smoke on the ground. It does the same with smells. It'll keep the uh, smells lower to the ground. And you can uh, smell stuff a lot better. You just don't, you probably don't want to be out here with it pouring down the rain. It has come a couple of good downpours on me. Uh, I started to put on my rain suit. And at the last minute, I said, nah, it's slacked off. It looks like it's lightening up. And uh, I'll be all right with just a rain jacket. I was wrong. I'm not that wet, though. More, I think I'm more wet with sweat than I am from the rain. But I got my Carhartt rain jacket on. And uh, it's kept my, my body dry from rain, but climbing these hills I just got wet with sweat okay, here's another our trail goes down to there but we're gonna walk up this flip over this other side so there's a big ridge right here it goes up and down right here to my right we're gonna pop over this ridge right here see if we see anything You see, there's another logging road. A logging road on this, on top of this ridge. So that kind of makes it hard to search, you know, to, to stay on one logging trail. You, there's many in here. A logging road. It's basically a skitter road, probably what it was, um, where they, they clear a road and make a, a, a loading ramp down next to the main road. And uh, they'll cut trees and drag them out down these skitter roads. So that's why you got like several going up. And then once you get up there, there's several more. Okay, let's, we're going to head back toward the truck. We're going to have to, I mean, we may come back another day. Um, Cause this is so close to the house and search. Uh, you can see we got a uh, bear scat right there. Of course I'm wearing a black uh, rain jacket bear he might think i'm another bear coming into his area but we got something to counteract that if that was to happen all right on to the truck okay we did make it back to the truck we're going to be heading home here um my feet are wet uh didn't see a bear on the way out i didn't get my uh camera out in time enough to get him on film because he was uh moving on pretty good um most you know most buyers ain't gonna uh, mess with you uh they just he just wanted to get out of the area so um you know uh don't have too much information on uh on uh, mr Collin back that we was looking for other than you know his vehicle was found there at the bridge at uh coleman river uh july the 5th i believe and um uh, he hadn't been seen um since then so uh we may uh like i said it's only like 15 miles from the house we may go back up there another day um i think 
small game season is open now. So uh, we might go up there, you know, squirrel hunting or something and uh, uh, look around. And uh, had some uh, good deer trails up there. Um, we uh, might even go up there near deer season. Deer season opens. Uh, but thanks for watching.